we are once again out here on Silver Ridge Peaks today, unfortunately not for a Black Bear Hotspot Guide. I thought maybe I'd have a good enough idea of where hotspots would be to make such a guide today, but I do feel like it's pretty inconsistent so far, and I want to wait and try to get it figured out a little bit better. So we are continuing with our grind. We're a little over 150 kills in thus far, uh, and when I say that, 150 male kills. I've been avoiding shooting the females generally, just to kind of see what it does, and uh, we'll see where that gets us today. Now, when I say it's been inconsistent, what I mean is from run to run, black bear males seem to be at entirely different lakes generally every single time. It's not that I don't feel like I know pretty much what lakes that a lot of the black bears are at. It's that it's been very different from one run to the next. And I've talked about this before. I think there are generally two kinds of grinding. You can try to find every single black bear zone and try to get to as many of those as possible per run. Or you can focus in on a couple of really good zones and try to just kind of go with those, repeating them over and over, and try to get the respawns that way. I'm looking to kind of go somewhere in between those. I think trying to get to every single lake on Silver Ridge Peaks where Black Bear can spawn is a bit much, and I also think focusing on a couple of lakes seems to get more female spawning than you would like at those spots, even without shooting them. It's been quite odd to see that, but it's kind of a thing with Grizzly Bear and stuff as well, so trying to find a balance for that. And uh, like I said, I wanted to wait on a guide until I feel like I have a better idea of maybe some of those best lakes to check out. But anyway, with all that out of the way, our first black bear of the hunt is a silver level 6. Dark fur type shot at 300 meters, double lung with the 300. And we will get on from here. Now that right there is why I continue to check this lake. Every now and then, I get a male spawn and... There's been a fair few good ones. Mythical is the best thus far, and that, I guess, will tie the biggest black bear we've had on this grind. We've had four mythicals now, I think. Still yet to see a level 9, and as we talked about plenty with the red deer grind, at the end of the day, you don't have to find a 9. All you need to see is that level 10 fabled. But another big thing that I'm really hoping for with this grind is that maybe if we could get one rare... I don't necessarily mind if we get a bunch, if it ends up being like the Red Deer Grind and it's a, you know, 5,000 kills and a lot of rares, that would be cool. But since the Cinnamon, Blonde, those fur types were made rare for Black Bear, I think it would be cool to get one, you know, during this process. But always encouraging to see the max weight estimate, 21.9. It might make him the biggest score-wise that we've had. The other mythical was like in the 230 kg range, so not half bad. So now, to circle back to the beginning, I talked about looking for some lakes that are consistent, and this lake right here has definitely been my most consistent. Now, we do have a female bear spawn here. That's the first time I've seen that in a while. But we're down here in the kind of southwest corner, just into Silver Rise, and there's this tiny little lake with a ton of bears, and in all likelihood, we're not even going to be able to get them all. But we'll try our best. We talked about it in yesterday's video as well, they usually run this way, but when there's that many, there's a good chance one is going to go another direction, but we'll get the ones kind of on the far left first. Usually that seems to make it better. I find the ones that are close to the water are more likely to run to the right. And we'll just kind of hit what we can before they go anywhere. Tripod is absolutely necessary here, but actually they are kind of spreading out and going the other direction. That is the female bear, that kind of figures. Got one going up through there that we definitely hit, although clearly not well. That should help. Got a four coming back this way. Now, if we hit this one, that would be five males. I probably should have counted how many there were. I think that might help in the future, especially when they do kind of just spread out and go all kinds of different directions. But assuming that we got all five, and I think we did, Maybe, at best, one might have gotten away. Not bad for as many that were in here. And so now the process of finding everything. Level 4, I thought that might have been a bit far forward, just into the left lung. And actually, there are four laying all right in this area. Another four that we got in the right lung. The three, I think, was the one that we had to shoot twice, so I'm curious if it's one of these. If not, then maybe we even got six. That was a level 6 silver another level 6 silver, 
and actually this is going to be the three because I can see the low bleed rate coming back. Level three, two flesh hits, one too high and one as it was running away. So it was five males, but compared to really any other spot, that is a pretty huge bonus be able to get that many that quickly. The only other area that I've had compare is up here and it's super inconsistent. We'll check it out now and see. I've got two tents right on the water's edge on purpose, basically to allow myself to, to hunt all the bears that can spawn here. And we'll see if the males are gonna be here or not. If they spawn, it's normally over in here, which is why I have the second tent right in that area. The ideal thing is to fast travel back across, claim them, and just move on, but we will have, on this other side, a bunch of female black bears. Now there's some mountain goats walking through, which I guess maybe I normally don't go here at this time, because that's not something I tend to encounter, and I actually don't even see as many females as normal. There are some over there, right where we had spawned, so maybe just moving around a little bit. We didn't discover a new drink zone by spotting them. I thought it might be interesting to come back here and just kind of see the difference a little bit later. There are just a ton of female black bears up here, but there is a male, maybe two males in fact, and they're over on that side, so that's good to know. I think we should be able to get them both. They're pretty well spread out. Kind of a tough angle, especially what I've noticed is that black bear don't seem to dip their head down to drink very much. So it's tough to kind of try to avoid the skull. We did it on that one. The other level six has no idea anything happened. I'm pretty sure that should be low enough as well. So that is the one thing, it's normally the longer shots because if you're within say 150, it's easy enough to see exactly where to aim to avoid that. But at 300 meters, it's pretty easy to mess it up. But good to know there are still males spawning up here. And this is the other thing. This is the reason I wanted to wait on a guide, because I think, probably, there would be an ideal route, or an ideal order in which to check the lakes, and clearly, this one up here in the Tufans region should be a little bit later. Not only were the males not here, like, 70% of the bears that were in the area were not here, and coming here, I don't know exactly what it's been, an hour, hour and a half in-game later? Bears absolutely everywhere, and two more males to our list. I didn't even pay attention if that last one was a gold, by the way. So actually, the other thing I want to do is check some spots again. That is a silver by 0.1. So the first thing, let's go to the lake down in the south uh, west again, where all those bears were. I want to see if there are any males that we missed. Maybe they've come back. And just, are there any that are coming in later? Because normally I hit that lake early and kind of just get out of there. That is extremely interesting. There are a bunch of male bears in here. So we've been missing out. Or I have been anyway. I guess I've only done this once or twice in a video. That's really good to know. We've got another max weight 7 right there. In addition to all the elk that are in here as well, it happens to be elk drink time. Again, well A, the tripod is going to be necessary. But B, I don't know that we're going to be able to get everything. I thought that was the seven. I couldn't get it spotted. I saw it for a second. I think it was. So we'll go for that first. And then we will just try to get on target for whatever we can hit before they take off. And I guess at this point, we'll try to keep track of what's running where and maybe get some additional shots off. That one kind of disappeared into the trees a little bit. The other, and that was unfortunate. He just slowed down right before we shot. The other negative to this side of things where we're checking some of these lakes a little bit later is that it's tougher to see it's getting a little bit darker obviously the black bears blend in well accidental neck shots are always a good thing but uh man we must have five or six more that we've shot that would make a total of about 10 at this lake i'm really happy we did things in this order now and that we didn't just immediately go for the guide because I feel a lot more confident going forward about where some of the good spots are. Because like I said, it's been inconsistent. I've had this lake look like it did earlier with five or six males, and I've had it with like one male. Now that we see the way that it can be, by the way, apparently we didn't hit that level seven very good. I don't know if we're hitting trees. 
It's going to die anyway. It must have been a vertebrae hit. But seeing this later and what it can look like even going here twice, I feel like maybe a hotspot guide would be a lot more doable. We're going to try to hit these if we can, assuming that they're males. I actually, the weird thing was, I never saw that female that was in here earlier when we were spawning around. That is a level six, which we can try to get there. And I don't know what got away going up the hill, but that's super encouraging. The numbers that I've had so far, often on a run, maybe 16 to 18 black bear uh, males if we're doing really well. I think we're gonna surpass that on this run. Oh, that's odd. Shot it right in the shoulder and didn't get a lung. I'm not sure if that was our angle. The bullet path wasn't uh, really showing correctly. But after we claim all these, and there are a lot, we'll check and see how many we've killed on this run now. And by the way, I want to say I talked about it yesterday, that I was experiencing some bears being late getting into their zones. But then after that, I would generally have males at pretty much every lake that I would go to at about the right time, but the difference is, it seems like, going there later produces more and more bears coming in. So, that leaves us with the question, hello there, uh, should we be focusing in on a couple of the good lakes? Was that the 22H? Okay, <laughs> thought I messed up there for a second. Anyway, should we be focusing in on a couple of the good lakes, or should we be trying to get to all of them? It's a tough question. This lake, clearly, if you go there twice, I mean, 10 males? This is why I haven't shot the females yet. Because it's pretty pretty much only males that spawn here, and if we can keep that up, it could become one of those focal lakes where, in theory, we can get a lot of black bear kills without a lot of traveling around, not a lot of, you know, compared to, I don't know, this lake here, where you maybe have to cover a lot of ground to go and claim your stuff. I like it. I think there's a, a really real opportunity here for this to become our kind of main spot but outside of the fact that I thought we messed up a diamond turkey or what I believe is going to be a diamond turkey nice little bonus here as we're getting ready to wrap up level three diamond at 4.60 again so I talked about this diamond at least the requirement used to display as 4.60 and we've never seen a level three turkey anything below that I don't know if you can get a 4.60 or 4.61 now, that actually ends up being a troll, but in this case, another little diamond. And as a last ditch ever, I wanted to go to where we started. And uh, immediately, we've got a level five male black bear, which I think we just did the thing that I was talking about. Because they don't really like kind of lean down to drink, it's easy to hit the skull, and I'm pretty sure we did that, but I wanted to kind of continue testing, check some of the other spots later in the day. I've found that what tends to happen with these runs, I get to maybe 1700, I've checked most of the spots, and then I don't know what to do, and I start checking really obscure spots and generally wasting time. Now, especially if we can kind of set up our tripods properly and kind of eliminate some of the extra pressure, I think we're going to kind of be going back to some of the lakes multiple times. I honestly kind of hope we're looking back on this hunt, you know, someday down the road, weeks or months, hopefully while looking at a great one in the harvest screen just like this, and, you know, look into this as maybe a turning point in the grind early on. We did kill 21 male black bears. I happened to check the codex, saw the first one that we shot in this hunt. That one makes 21 now, and uh, honestly, the best, best run we've had and I really think that added information is going to make a huge difference as to going back to the lakes a little bit later. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.